This is a short little demonstration and explanation of how to use two monitors with the SmartBoard software and the AV Tutor software. Um, here we have a, a Dell 960 all-in-one computer system with a 19-inch monitor and then we have a secondary monitor that's been plugged into it that is a 15-inch LCD. Um, now in this room, this is a student classroom computer lab with about 30 computers and um, we've got a bunch of computers in the front row here where the students face the teacher but the computers face backwards so the teacher can't see what's going on on these computer screens while the teacher is working in the classroom up at the front of the desk or using the smart board. Now we've got this AB Tutor software on the computer that allows you to remotely view what's going on on the computers. If you have only a single monitor, it's somewhat difficult to use the AB Tutor program while also doing something else. If you watch what's going on on the other computers, here I will connect to several of them. Here are several of the machines that are in front of me. We can see what's going on on them. It, sh it shows them in full screen, but see it takes up the whole screen and so I don't have any additional workspace available to work on a Word document or do something with the internet and so forth. Um, now what we can do here with the second monitor is that we can take those screens and we can shift them from this monitor over to this monitor. Um, to, ex to show you how this relationship works, we go into the resolution settings for the computer and the two monitors show up on this little work area right here. And you can rearrange your monitors so that the edges of the screens touch in a way that matches the, the physical arrangement of your two monitors. This one and two helps you identify which monitor is which. And if you click identify, it puts giant numbers on the screens to show you which one is which. So what we've done here is this monitor is put just a little bit down to the right of the big one so that when you move the mouse from here and you get to the edge, the mouse will cross over to the edge and appear on this monitor. And this, this also works for any windows and so forth. If I click and hold on the title bar of the window, I can drag the window and it appears on the second monitor. And you can just drag stuff right over here and make it come over here. So if you run out of area on here working on stuff, you just drag it over here and continue working. Um, now if I open the AB Tutor software and we click Watch, it comes up full screen on this monitor. Now to get this to come over here, there's a little toolbar with a bunch of buttons and one of them is resize. We click resize and it shrinks the screens down so that they're inside a window. Then we can click and drag on this window and drag it over to the second monitor and then we click on our on resize on our little toolbar and now those screens fully fill the second monitor. We can also move our toolbar so that it's on the second monitor. So now I can work on two things. I can work on an assignment or I can show something on the smart board to the students in the classroom and I can also monitor what the students are doing using the second monitor. A second part of working with multiple monitors is how does the smart board know where to send your touches when you touch the screen? Which monitors should the input go to? The newer versions of the smart board software have a very easy way of setting this up. When you orient the board, an additional option appears at the bottom. So here on the orientation you see it's only on this monitor, it's not on both. At the bottom it says, to select another display, press the space bar. So if I want this to be the monitor where the touches go, I just press the space bar and orient the board for that screen. Then press space bar, comes back over here again. 
So this way, if you have two or more monitors, you can just keep pressing spacebar until the, select the correct screen that you want is selected and orient the board for that screen. Now, one additional thing I should mention here is, is why I'm using the smaller monitor with the smart board and not the larger one. For the way that this classroom was set up, the computer is a widescreen monitor, but when you look at the smart board, the smart board is not widescreen. It is the standard, more squarish shape, and so this screen shape does not properly fit onto this widescreen monitor. If we show it on here, what we end up having to do is we have to have black bars along the edges that cut off the screen so that this shape will properly match the smart board. So it's, you're, you can't effectively use the screen. You end up with this wasted space that you can't do anything with on the edges of the screen. So instead what I've done here is I'm using a smaller, you'd consider it an older, inexpensive, and you know, not that great monitor. It's not widescreen, but the, it, this monitor exactly matches the shape of the smart board. So this way we can use the smart board to its full potential on this screen and then also use this screen for an additional workspace for the AB Tutor 